Hello, Facebook family. Rachel Coleman here, former college coach. And I am here to talk about the recruiting calendar, the dead period, and when can D1 coaches come out and see our kids play. As many of you know, the NCAA has come out and said that D1 coaches are going to resume normal recruiting activities starting June 1. So are D1 coaches allowed to come out June 1? Or what does the recruiting calendar say? So I'm just going to pull up the recruiting calendar for y'all. So you can see it. And again, I um, want to make sure that you see the, the dates that are the dead period. So if you look here in June, we have a dead period for the Women's College World Series, June 1 through June 9. So D1 coaches are going to be allowed out June 10th. Um, this is going to be the first date that D1 coaches are going to be allowed out um, to see our kids play softball on the fields. Um, so if you don't have a tournament scheduled or a showcase scheduled that college coaches are planning on attending June 10 through 13, you might want to look into that. Um, they're also allowed to start having camps on these days. Um, so you want to make sure that you're looking for camps on College campuses, also a lot of the tournaments have camps and clinics that you can attend. Um, but I just wanted to share that recruiting calendar with y'all. You can go back and rewatch um, if you didn't get to see it. But again, if you Google NCAA D1 softball recruiting calendar, you'll be able to pull that up and see the dates that college coaches are allowed to come out and see our kids play. Um, that's what I have for you for tonight. If you have any questions regarding the recruiting pro process, please send me a message. I'd love to do a live on it and I'll send you a message back with your answers. I will talk to y'all soon. Have a great Sunday and happy Mother's Day to all those softball moms out there.